one. Good afternoon from Columbia, South Carolina. Today I'm going to show you how to do a muriatic acid wash on the seashells that you've collected. Muriatic acid is hydrochloric acid that is used in swimming pool chemicals, it's used in um, leather working and also in masonry and a few other things. Um, it is a very toxic, very corrosive uh, chemical and you want to make sure that you are well protected whenever you work with it. Wear protective gloves, wear protective eye gear, and also make sure that you're working in a well ventilated area. Today I'm moving everything indoors because it is South Carolina in the summertime and it is awfully hot out. But because we are indoors I want to make sure that I am protected as well because it does emit a, a toxic vapor. I have my windows opened up here in the bathroom to make sure that I am getting plenty of ventilation. Um, seashells develop um, over time, they do develop a white calcium film on the outside dulling their color. So with the muriatic acid, we're going to bring out the original color of the shell and kind of bring out that vibrance. Um, I am not an expert at this. <laughs> I don't claim to be. Um, I have done this a few times and um, it does not work with every single shell, um, especially with the ones that have a heavy calcium buildup. Um, you don't want to leave uh, the, um, the shell that long in the acid because it will start to degrade the, uh, the actual shell itself. We're only going to dip it in for about three seconds and then I'm going to put it in a um, water bath to kind of neutralize that acid and that way it does not corrode anymore. You can purchase muriatic acid at any of your hardware stores um, and it's fairly inexpensive. I think I only paid uh, just a little less than eight dollars for a full gallon of it. Um, all I am going to be using though is one fourth cup, one fourth cup to three-fourths cup water. Um, you don't want to use it as a full strength because it will disintegrate the shell and then your treasure's lost. Um, I've already mixed everything up here. You can Google and uh, watch YouTube videos on how to do all of this as well. Um, I just figured I would show you today on a few of the shells that I've collected and see, you know, kind of how they uh, clean up and and whatnot. So give me just a little bit and I'll get everything ready and we'll get started. Okay, we are ready to go. As you can see, I have my muriatic acid wash here, which is one fourth cup of muriatic acid to three fourths cup water. And then I have a bucket of just plain water, clean water, to be able to dip the shell into after the acid wash. So I'm going to put my gloves on here and have my, my tongs. So we have this shell that we're going to try here. Dip it in. One, two, three. Pull it out. Swish it around the clean water. And as you can see, a whole lot more of the brilliant colors have come out. The pinks in this one is really pretty.
You can see some of the calcium buildup on this one. And we dip it into the acid. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Pull that out. And then swish it around in the water. And as you can see, the vibrant colors that have come out in it. Beautiful show. Now, I'm going to show you here. There's a heavy calcium buildup, obviously, on this shell. There you go. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the one, um, dip it in one time, because, again, I don't want to um, hurt the shell. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. And as you can see, a lot of the color has come through. And here are our completed shells. Ready to display. Beautiful colors. Thank you for your time today. Have a good afternoon. Mm -hmm.